A Roman soldier lost his head for not ditching his Christian beliefs, it is said. Though legend sounds better when a man called George went out one day with his trusty sword. He wandered from home far and wide across the English countryside, meeting people and making new friends. His gentlemanly conduct knew no ends. One day he met a lady heavily laden in the form of a buxom maiden. He could see that she was in distress, and on her journey she could not progress. He questioned her and asked her why. She shed a tear from her beautiful eye. She explained her route was blocked ahead. A dragon had decided to make his bed. George stood her aside and drew his blade, retraced the footsteps that she'd made. Ahead he encountered a scaly giant. With nostrils flared, it stood defiant. Green and purple, it was ten feet tall, blocking the pass from wall to wall. George shouted his order for the dragon to scram, but it raised its head and looked at the man. It rose to full height and gave a great roar, displaying anger like George had never seen before. From its nostrils came a ball of orange flame. Smoke surrounded the dragon, and George the same. He was far too short for this mammoth task. Unless he got higher, this was too much to ask. After searching a field, he found a white horse and thought, "This will give me the extra height, of course." He rode to the dragon right up to its lair and saw that it was still laying there. This time, with his sword, he reached the dragon's eye, and with one plunge, he left the creature to die. Blinded and hurt by the man's assault, the dragon's life had been cut short. It roared and then fell to the ground, and then there was silence all around. He offered his hand to the maiden fair, said she was now free to go anywhere. With the knowledge that the dragon was dead, folk knew they were safe when they went to bed. George's reputation spread far and wide. The population were all on his side, and that's the reason that people say 23rd of April is St George's Day.